Blake here with Source Decoded. And I'm trying to solve a very basic problem of, of centering and horizontally as well as vertically a child div inside of its parent. Um, as you can see here, I have some very basic CSS, uh, having my background green for my parent and my background red for, for the child, as well as giving a width and height of 500 pixels for the parent and a width and height of 100 pixels for the child. Um, and you can see right here that I have my margin zero auto, and it appears that my child div is centered horizontally inside of my parent. Now this is possible, made possible because if you go to the go to w3.org, you'll see that when you have a block level element that's in the normal flow, that if both margin left and margin right are auto, their used values are equal. You can read that right here. So if I'm going I go back to my fiddle here, you'll see that Yes, that makes sense. Both my margin left and my margin right have the same value, so the child is centered. So you would think that I could just come in here and say auto for my margin top and my margin bottom as well, and that those values would be computed equally as well, and the, and the, and the div would now be horizontally centered. Um, this is a common common mistake that I think a lot a lot of people new to CSS make and and because technically honestly it makes sense to me how how this 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 would work but if we go back to w3.org we'll see that in almost all the cases listed if margin top or mar margin bottom or bottom are auto their used values are zero meaning basically saying Going, going here and saying margin auto auto is the same as going margin zero auto. So the the big question is why why did why did w3.org decide that that was the proper way to, to do it? I mean, it just seems like this would be so easy um, to solve such a such a basic thing that, that a lot of people struggle with, and there's lots of different solutions out there to solve this problem. But this, to me, just seems like this would be the easiest solution. Um, one thought is that since the reason why they would have done this is since margin is used to actually calculate the height of an element. So if I were to come here and delete my width and height and um, give this a margin of, let's say, 25 pixels, and run that again, you'll see that the height of my div is actually, the parent is actually calcul calculated from my margin. It's used to, cal uh, to calculate the height of the div. So uh, it's, uh, I've heard before that there's this idea that if, if they were to allow margin auto auto, then that would force the top and bottom margins to be equal, which would cause the div to center itself, and then which would cause the parent div to, to do a reflow, redraw, having to recalculate its height, which would then push the child div down and, and basically cause an infinite loop of constantly trying to calculate um, if that to calculate its height. Now I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but that's one one um, reason I've been given for it. So yeah, please leave down in the comments if you have any reason, if you can explain to me or ex to all of us in the community why why this is the case, Why if, if you know why W3.org decided to do this, then we'd really be great to hear that down in the comments. Um, I'll, I'll solve this solution, give some good solutions to this problem in later videos, uh, but for now that's the basics of what I wanted to talk about today.